Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Ellen Barrett. Thank you so much for joining us today. We've got a great show ahead for you. And I'm so excited to introduce you to our first guest today because I really do have a soft spot in my heart for Festival Foods. That was my very first job. This is Paul Anderson. He's the store director over at the Madison Festival Foods. Thank you so much for being with us today. Well, I'm very happy to be here. And we were kind of chatting before the show. It is incredible to hear the stories of so many people who their first job or, you know, at some point in their life, they worked at a Festival Foods. Absolutely. It's, it's and crazy. here in yeah, here in Madison, we get a lot of students that have worked yeah. at other locations in Wisconsin and they come to work for us in Madison while they're going to the UW. It's a great place to work if you're looking for employment. And that kind of ties into what we're going to talk about today as well, because you guys are so involved in the community, whether it be employing students or, or different people throughout the community, but you guys are also really involved. And why is it so important for you guys to be so active in the community? Well, one of our values is community involvement. Yeah. And uh, we exist. Uh, our, our vision statement is to succeed in groceries for the benefit of our associates, our guests, and then also our communities. So we try to make the communities that we're involved or do business in better places for everyone. And you guys are involved in quite a few events as well throughout the year. You see the, the festival boomerang and symbol quite often. And so what events are you guys in? Well, here in Madison, as well as throughout the state of Wisconsin, uh, we partner to do fireworks. And here we're really happy to be in the Shake the Lake. And yes. this year it's going to be June 24th. And it's the third year that we've been involved and it keeps growing and getting better every year. And then in, dish, in addition to Shake the Lake, we run the turkey trot every year. And that's the Thanksgiving morning uh, two mile, five mile run. And we have great participation with that. We're in over 10 cities and I think 30,000 participants. And wow. the proceeds from that go to some very worthwhile uh, charities, uh, Boys and Girls Club and the awesome. YMCA. Oh, awesome. And such fun events to get the whole family involved. Really almost a tradition for a lot of, of families. Absolutely. So. Fam you know, families are important to us. And we feel that the people at Festival, we are a big family. Absolutely. And you guys get involved with food pantries as well. So which food pantries do you guys support? Well, here in Madison, the River Food Pantry and then Community Action Coalition and then St. Paul's Lutheran Church runs a food pantry. So we have those people picking up at our door every day. Wow. Uh, last year alone, we donated over 60,000 pounds of food to those pantries. And uh, we've also worked with the Good Center here to help support their Thanksgiving meal uh, program they have. Wow, and we've listed so many things that make Festival Foods special. I mean, the list goes on and on. What, what would you say makes Festival so special? Well, uh, service, service yeah. to our guests. Uh, that's, you know, one of our values. Uh, we've got, at the Madison store, we've got over 190 employees there to serve our guests. And, you know, we talk about building relationships. Well, we build relationships with the community and also our customers. Absolutely. And one great feature that you guys have is the deli section. So much good food. What makes your deli special, probably compared to other people's delis? Well, I think the, the festival deli, yeah. uh, we have everything in our deli. If, as I look at the Madison market, our deli has more than any other deli has to offer from... Uh, from a salad bar, a hot buffet line, uh, sandwiches, soups, sushi, heat and eat entrees, I mean on and on. There are so many meal solutions yeah. that you can either eat right there in the store or else take home, heat and eat, or you know, go up in our mess right. and eat it for lunch. One of my favorites, I don't know what your favorite is, Paul, potato salad. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. I, I could have that every day. A festival, yeah. <laughs> festival, we have our own special recipe. Oh, and my it, goodness. It is good. Oh. And what other unique features does the Madison Festival have before we go? Well, the, we have the Mez, and it's the Mez dining deck, and we actually have a lounge and a bar up there. There's an outdoor patio that people can come in for lunch or, yeah, lunch or dinner. There's seating for 30 outside overlooking East Wash. And then there's seating for 100 people up in our mess. So some unique things we see is people come in and they'll go upstairs and they'll grab our ad and plan their shopping trip. And I think it gives them a chance to relax and shop oh. uh, leisurely. I love that because there's nothing worse than grocery shopping on an empty stomach. So make sure you eat first. Otherwise, <laughs> you're going to buy everything in the store. <laughs> Absolutely. Again, this is Paul Anderson. He's the store director with Festival Foods in Madison. Thank you so much for being with I'm us. I'm happy to be here. Thank I really you. appreciate it. And we'll be back with more Talk of the Town on Wisconsin's 57 Television right after this.